Here are the antipsychotic drugs you need to learn. Neuroleptics or major tranquilizers usually takes effect in one to four weeks. It is used for psychosis, delusions, hallucinations, mania, and insomnia. The mechanism of action is that it blocks dopamine in the brain. As a result, it lessens psychotic thinking and bizarre behaviors. There are several kinds of antipsychotic drugs. They are classified as typical antipsychotics. It blocks the dopamine receptors in the brain. However, it produces a lot of EPS or extrapyramidal side effects. Here are some examples of typical antipsychotics. These are thorazine, haloperidol, prolexine, and stelazine. Next are a typical antipsychotic. This drug makes the dopamine receptors to become weak. Therefore, lesser incidences of EPS. Examples are clozapine, olanzapine, aripiprazol, and ciprasidone. Dopamine system stabilizer. This drug stabilizes the dopamine input. Example is Abilify. Known side effects are EPS or extrapyramidal side effects like pseudoparkinsonism, dystonia, and akathisia. Another side effect is neuroleptic malignant syndrome. It is the most fatal reaction. Signs and symptoms are fever, diaphoresis, confusion, and others. Tardive dyskinesia is an irreversible side effect which characterizes by lip smacking, tongue protrusion, and facial grimacing. Known anticholinergic side effects are dry mouth, urinary retention, constipation, tachycardia, etc. A serious condition that occurs when there is an extremely low number of granulocytes in the WBC. This is called agranulocytosis. Signs and symptoms are fever, malaise sore throat and photosensitivity. Orthostatic hypotension is also a side effect. It happens when the BP drops due to sudden change in position and prolonged standing. Here are the contraindications of antipsychotics. This includes pregnancy, lactation, diabetes, liver impairment, and glaucoma. Next that we will tackle is about anti-anxiety drugs. They are also called anxiolytics sedatives or hypnotics the mechanism of action is that it reduces involuntary awakenings and increases sleep time the indications for this medicine is for anxiety and anxiety disorder alcohol withdrawal and borderline personality disorder benzodiazepines mediate actions of gaba or gamma aminobutyric acid thus decreases anxiety take note that benzodiazepines can cause a lot of side effects example of this drug includes ativan Valium, Librium, Serax, Xanax, Dalmain, and Restoral. On the other hand, non-benzodiazepines can cause lesser side effects. Examples are Busper and Catapress. Antihistamines are also referred as anti-anxiety drugs. This drug prevents EPS, allergy, and motion sickness. Examples are Visteral, Benadryl, and Atarax. For the side effects, it includes drowsiness and sedation. Poor coordination, dizziness, and nausea. These drugs are contraindicated for pregnant and lactating mother as well as those with pulmonary disorders. Now for the nursing management. This medicine should be given at bedtime. A patient should be instructed to avoid alcohol and caffeine-rich foods. It should be given before meals or an empty stomach. Always check the consistency of the medication. Liquid formulas should be double-checked. Do not give solutions that are cloudy. Next is to observe for therapeutic and adverse side effects. A nurse should instruct and orient the patient not to abruptly stop the medication because it causes sagitation, rebound insomnia, nightmares, and sudden death. Lastly is to teach the client if he or she observes signs of agranulocytosis. Now let's proceed to anti-manic drugs. These are also referred as mood stabilizers, like with the other medications that we discussed. It takes effect in one to three weeks or more. This drug is indicated for manic episode in bipolar disorders. The mechanism of action is that it normalizes serotonin, norepinephrine, acetylcholine, and dopamine to prevent depression and mania. Here are the possible side effects that can be noticed from the patient. This includes nausea and vomiting, fine hand tremors, loss of appetite, edema as well as acne. 
An example of this drug is lithium and known brand names are Escalith, lithium carbonate. For lithium, the normal serum level is 0.6 to 1.2 milli equivalent per liter. And note for the toxic level that is more than 1.5 milli equivalent per liter on the blood tests. Carbamazepine and valproic acid are also example of anti-manic drug. For the nursing management. Number one is monitor serum lithium level regularly. Number two is the recommended salt intake should be 3 grams. Next the patient's fluid intake must be 2 to 3 liters of fluids per day. Number four is mannitol and dialysis are the solution for lithium toxicity. Now, we will discuss about anti-Parkinson's drugs. This drugs usually appears after initial dose of antipsychotics. This medication also treats EPS or extrapyramidal side effects. The mechanism of action is it attempts to correct imbalance between dopamine and acetylcholine. Known side effects are sedation, photosensitivity, orthostatic hypotension, agranulocytosis and there are hormonal changes too. Examples are cogentin, artane, perlidil, laridopa. Now, for the nursing management. This medicine is usually given with foods or meals. Next is to observe for therapeutic side effects and improvement in gait and posture. A client should be teached about orthostatic hypotension. You need also to advise the patient to limit their strenuous activities. It is also important to have a weekly CBC monitoring. Patients should be weighed regularly for any changes. Let's proceed to antidepressant drugs. They are mood elevators, second line agent. Antidepressants are indicated for bipolar disorders, anxiety disorders, major depressive disorders and eating disorders. The mechanism of action is that it balances serotonin and norepinephrine. There are types of antidepressants. First is tricyclic antidepressants. The effect usually take place in one to three weeks. Here are some examples of this drug. This includes Sinequin, Tofranil Elevil and others. Take note that the antidote for antidepressant is physostigmine or antelirium. It can only be used with life-threatening symptoms. Next type is MAOI or monoamine oxidase inhibitors. It takes effect after 2 to 4 weeks. Given examples of this drug are Parnate, Nardil and Marplan. It is used for clients who does not respond to TCA or cannot tolerate SSRI. Now let's talk about the contraindications. It includes Pregnancy, lactation, patient with CHF or congestive heart failure, patient with liver and kidney problems, people who are alcoholic, and for the age group not over 60 years of age and not less than 16 years of age. Take note that patients should avoid tyramine-rich food because it causes hypertensive crisis. The antidote for MAOI is phentolamine or regetin for the high BP caused by hypertensive crisis. Next is SSRI or Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. The effect take place after 2 to 3 weeks. It is the first line agent. The examples are Zoloft, Paxil and Prozac. What is popular on this type of this antidepressant is the broad spectrum action. It is indicated with patient who have anxiety and anxiety disorder, depression, eating disorder and alcoholism. Now for the nursing management of SSRI. The medicine should be taken in the morning for 4 weeks to achieve its full effects. Take note that patient must avoid TCAs. Take note that patient must avoid TCAs or MAOI because it is fatal. Nurses should monitor the blood pressure before dosage change to detect hypo or hypertension. It is not advised to operate machineries and driving while taking the drug. Lastly, it is advised to report unusual symptoms like tremors, nausea and vomiting anorexia, nervousness, and sexual dysfunctions. Let's talk about electroconvulsive therapy or ECT. It is the introduction of 70 to 150 volts for 0.2 to 8.0 seconds, producing a 30 to 60 seconds of seizures, confusion, and memory loss. Not all psychiatric patients are advised to do this procedure. Here are some contraindications. It includes recent MI, pulmonary disorders, increased ICP, fractures and dislocations. Now, for the nursing management for client who will undergo for ECT. First, 
make sure that informed consent is signed by the patient. Second, the patient should have had an NPO order after midnight. Third, the pre-meds should be given to the patient prior to the procedure. These are, atropine sulfate to decrease the secretions, Brevital as a short-acting barbiturate and succinylcholine as a muscle relaxant. After the procedure, post-treatment should be done like placing the patient to side-lying position. Patient should be oxygenated. Proper orientation to date, time and place should be done and maintaining a quiet environment. If you enjoyed and learned about this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to support my channel.